Hello everyone. My name is Mohamed Muzian. I'm a specialist orthodontist and honorary lecturer at the University of Sydney and honorary research fellow at the University of Edinburgh. First of all, happy Eid to all my Muslim colleagues and happy week for all um, of my friends around the world. Uh, we are going to talk about very important topics uh, this week, which is the provision of orthodontic anchorage and overview of the uh, evidence. Well, first of all, this is a disclosure uh, stating that I have no financial interest with the content of this presentation. There are common methods to provide anchorage in orthodontics, and this simply can be classified into headgear, auxiliary anchorage such as TPA, Nance Appliance and Lingual Arch, mini screws or TADs, and as well as other, uh, uh, other uh, methods to provide anchorage, such as bonding the seven, uh, tip backs, which is the original bioprogressive technique by tweets. There are several studies which investigated the effectiveness of the, this uh, anchorage provision technique. And uh, most of the uh, postgraduate students are aware of these uh, studies, um, such as the one by Zabaloki and McNamara. Uh, some of the studies are in, uh, in Sweden and others in uh, India, China, uh, UK, and the States. Uh, and also there's an, another white clinical trial from the Middle East from Syria, as well as many other, many, many other uh, studies. So let's talk about one by one. So what's about the study by Zabalok and Namara in 2008? Well, they involved 60 patients into two groups. The first group um, has a premolar extraction and the method of anchorage was a TPA or transplatal arch. In the second one, uh, non, uh, no anchorage uh, or auxiliary anchorage appliance was used. And they assessed the outcome. Uh, the outcome was the anchorage loss and it was a retrospective study. And in conclusion, they found that TPA does not provide any anchorage compared to no uh, orthodontic auxiliary anchorage appliance uh, technique. Uh, there's another study by Feldman and Bonmark in 2008, and it was a randomized clinical trial. It involved 120 patients who had been treated use, uh, using either onoplant, TADS, extraoral appliance, or TPA, and they involved an extraction of premolars. They assessed the outcome, and the study, as I said, it was a randomized controlled trial. And they found that the TPA is the least effective system of anchorage compared to headgear and, um, and the, the mini screw or the on plants anchorage appliance. There is another randomized controlled trials by my in 2008 and some involved 30 patients who have been treated by using headgear or fixed appliance and the comparative group involved patients who had been treated using fixed appliance and mini screw as a method to provide anchorage. They assess the outcome um, uh, in a form of anchorage loss, and they found that the headgear is less effective than mini screw. Another study in 2008, uh, it was a randomized controlled trial, involved 36 patients who have been treated uh, either using headgear TPA or banding the second molar as a method to provide anchorage, and they compared it with another group who had been treated using mini screw as a method to provide anchorage. They assessed the anchorage loss, and the study was an RCT, and they found that the TADS is the most effective system of choice among this anchorage provision system. There's another study by Leo. Uh, it's involved 34 patients who have bimaxillary dental alveolar protrusion, uh, and they have been it's, it's randomized into two groups. The first group involved uh, primary extraction with fixed appliance along with the mini screw as a method to provide anchorage, and the comparator was a, a, a group who had been used, who had been treated using a transplatal arch as a method to provide anchorage. The outcome was the anchorage loss or and the degree of upper incisor in, uh, retraction, and it was an RCT. And they found that TPA is the least effective system. Um, especially in uh, hyperdivergent patients, um, among other methods to provide anchorage. There's another study by Steve Varus and Mandal in 2010, and this study has been undertaken in the UK, Manchester, and has involved 57 patients who have been treated using either TPA uh, or NANS appliance. So this study actually comparing the effectiveness of TPA and NANS appliance, uh, and uh, they assess the anchorage loss as well as the patient perception. It was an RCT, and they found that actually there is no difference in terms of anchorage between TPA and NANS appliance, and patients uh, prefer TPA because uh, the NANS appliance accumulates some food and associate with some inflammation of the soft tissue underneath the palatal button. Uh, another study in 2008 by Basha et al. Uh, involved 40 pa 14 patients who have been treated either by TPA 
or uh, TADS, uh, along with extraction of premolar and fixed appliance. They assessed uh, the, out uh, the un outcome was the encouraged loss, and the study was an RCT, and they found, again, that the TPA is this effective system. So as you can see, uh, ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot of study, and the, uh, the evidence, most of the evidence saying that TPA is not an effective method uh, to provide encourage. And there's one study actually saying that the TPA is almost similar to the NANS appliance. Um, also, they said that the headgear is less effective compared to the, um, uh, to the mini screw. So there is a lot of contradicting findings in the literature. Another study in 2012, which is an RCT, involved 30 patients who have been treated either by using mini screw or TPA as a, as a method to provide encourage, along with the fixed appliance and extraction of premolar. The outcome was an uh, encouraged loss and the study was an RCT. And they found that TPA is the least effective system of choice. So, so far, we have a conclusive evidence that TPA is um, not effective uh, encourage system. Another study in 2013 by a group from Syria and it's involved uh, 56 patients who have been treated either by using TADS or TPA as a method to provide encourage. They assess many things, and one of it is actually the encourage loss uh, defined as the amount of mesial mo movement of the first molar. The study was an RCT and they found that TPA is least effective system again. Um, the recent study by Sandler et al. in 2014, which is part of the um, Jonathan Sandler study, uh, PhD study, involved 78 patients who have been treated by using immunity crew, NANS, or headgear appliance, uh, and all the patients, they need maximum encourage with extraction of premolar, and they assess many things. More, one of it is actually the amount of encourage loss, uh, the occlusal outcome at the end of treatment, and patient perception. The study has actually uh, it's, uh, has a design of randomized control trial, and it's one of the best uh, RCT that has been published in this field. They found actually that there is no difference between TADS, NANS appliance, and headgear in terms of encourage. However, the patients prefer um, minisucro in comparison to, uh, to NANS, and the least preferable option was the headgear. And they found also that the TADS has slightly uh, a better occlusal outcome compared to other uh, methods, i.e. Uh, NANS appliance and uh, mini uh, and uh, headgear. So actually by um, with the Sandler paper, we found that now the, the confusion become more and more because from Sivaris and Mandel paper, we know that there is no difference between TPA and, and the NANS appliance. Uh, and now this study showed that actually there is a difference between NANS appliance and mini screw. But the previous studies which has been published show that actually the mini screw is better than uh, TPA. So it's slightly co confusion, conf contradicting evidence. And for this purpose, actually, uh, we undertook a systematic review. And this systematic review should be published next week in the uh, Acta Orthodontic Scandinavia, which is the uh, official uh, orthodontic journal by the Scandinavian country. And I'm one of the author uh, of this uh, research. So what did we do? We have to register the study and we registered it with Prospero. And we follow Cochrane guidelines, uh, and we, ha we set specific eligibility criteria according to PICOS. So what did we find? Uh, we undertook a very uh, comprehensive hand and gray literature searching, as well as electronic search. And this is actually the Prisma flow chart of our study. It's very complicated, but in summary, we found that there is 751 study uh, which uh, eligible uh, uh, for our uh, search criteria. However, after applying our PCOS uh, analysis, uh, we found that only seven RCT met our inclusion criteria. With regard to the quality of evidence, as you can see, this is the Cochrane tool of uh, risk of bias. Uh, three, three of the study has a uh, low risk of bias, and they have a green check in all uh, uh, risk domain. The rest of the study has a high risk of bias. So what's, what's, in what's happened in terms of the uh, meta-analysis? Well, in terms of the encourage loss, this is the first plot. And for those who are unaware of the first plot, plot this line is called the line of no effects. So if the diamond or the, uh, the diamond, the black diamond, actually on the right side of the screen, this means that uh, conversion encourage is better than mini screw. If it's on the left side, this means that mini screw is better than the other method to provide encourage. And actually, but, uh, when we compare the mini screw to headgear, which is subgroup analysis, we found actually that there is no significant difference between mini screw and headgear. Although there is a slight, slight difference, but it was statistically not significant. 
when we compared the MiniSecure and NANS appliance, again, there is a slight difference, but it was statistically not significant difference. However, when we compared the MiniSecure and TPA, we found that there is a statistically significant difference in the favor of MiniSecure. So MiniSecure provide maximum, more anchorage than TPA. When we compare the mini screw with other mixed methods, i.e. banding the seven or tip bag, we found actually the mini screw is much better uh, than the mixed method. And overall, uh, we found that mini screw uh, are clinically and statistically more effective in preserving anchorage than conventional appliance. As I said in the previous slides, three of the study has a low risk of bias and three of the study has a high risk of bias. And after we apply sensitivity analysis, which means uh, excluding the study with, which, has, which had a high risk of bias, we found that, again, uh, the pull effect or the diamond is still on the side of MiniSecru, which confirmed that, actually, uh, MiniSecru is clinically and statistically more effective after applying sensitivity analysis and including the high-quality studies. What about the overall duration of treatments? Well, um, we, we found that there are only two, two studies, uh, one of them with three arms, uh, compare, uh, assess the overall duration of treatments. And as you can see, the diamonds uh, is actually on the side of MiniSecru, but it's crossing the line of no effect or the, uh, the vertical line. And this means that it is, uh, a, a, there is a difference, but it was statistically not difference in, uh, in terms of the treatment duration, uh, whether you are using MiniSecru, headgear, TPA, what about other outcome? Well, in terms of a duration of a space closure, we found that there is no statistical difference between uh, those who have been treated using NANS appliance, MiniSecru, or headgear. So they have the same rate of space closure. What about the term, uh, what about the uh, number of visits? Uh, only one study actually assessed the number of visits, which is Sandler paper in 2014. And as you can see that there's actually one month difference between those who have been treated by using headgear or MiniSecru. Uh, but when we compare NANS appliance group to the MiniSecru group, we found that actually there is a three months uh, a more uh, um, time if you are using NAS appliance as a method to provide anchorage. Whether this is clinically significant or not, it depends on the clinician philosophy. What about the outcome? Well, uh, with regard to the outcome, uh, which has been mentioned in Sandler paper, we found that there is no significant, statistically significant difference in terms of the occlusal uh, outcome or the finishing and detailing between those who have been treated using MiniSecru or NAS appliance. But there was more, uh, there was statistically significant difference between those who have been treated by MiniSecru or NAS on one hand and those who have been treated with headgear and the difference was around five uh, po uh, score, par score points. What about the patient perception, which has been measured using a six point Likert scale? Uh, we found actually that 90% of the patient uh, would uh, prefer MiniSecru and would recommend it to a friend and family, uh, while 77, or, uh, while the rate was actually 77 for the Nancy group, NAS appliance group, half of the uh, participants would recommend headgear to their colleagues or to their friends. So this means that actually using a MiniSecru and NAS appliance uh, is much better than headgear uh, in terms of pulse, uh, pulse scores or finishing and in, in terms of the patient perception. So in conclusion, uh, in terms of the anthroposphere anchorage, there's a slight difference between TAD, NANS appliance, and headgear, but TPA and bonding the seven are the worst, and they are not actually providing any mean of anthroposphere anchorage. Uh, there is no difference in terms of overall treatment duration between those who have been treated with using TADs, NANS, or headgear. In terms of uh, number of visits, again, there is no difference those who have been treated using MiniSecru, uh, NANS, or headgear appliance. And in terms of the pulse, pulse score, there is no significant difference between those who have been treated using MiniSecru or, or NANS appliance, but headgear uh, outcome is uh, the worst outcome uh, among these three groups. And always the patients prefer TADS uh, um, in comparison to uh, NANS appliance and headgear, and headgear is the worst um, in terms of patient perception. So personally, uh, what I, what I will do now if, I go, if I'm treating patients in my practice, if I need anthroposphere anchorage, uh, then I will use definitely 
uh, I will use either Nance appliance with large palatal bottom or TADS. I will try to minimize as much as possible the use of headgear unless the patient like it. I will also stop using uh, TPA, tip back, or bonding the seven as method to provide anchorage because the evidence show that it will provide almost zero anchorage. Uh, thank you so much for your listening. Uh, this is my email, uh, my email if you want to contact me, and this is the website. Uh, and please join our Facebook group in, if you want to uh, ask any question. And again, happy Eid uh, to all my Muslim colleagues around the world, and happy week to all non-Muslim colleagues around the world and in the UK. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.